Hello everyone, yours truly, Chris Levi13, and welcome to part three of my three-part series where I talk about my favorite game and system of all time. Now, if you've been keeping up with this, two weeks ago, I talked a little bit about my favorite game and system of all time, which was the game Kingdom Hearts and the system, the PS2, PlayStation 2. Then last week, I dived deeper into why the PlayStation 2 is my favorite system of all time, and I showed off the PlayStation stuff that I have. And I am on a search for a working PS2, whether it be the slim or fat model. Well, today, in part three, the final part of this three-part series, I'll be diving into why Kingdom Hearts is my favorite game of all time. Why it beats out all other games to me. Now, this is just my opinion. So sit back, relax, hopefully you will enjoy this. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button to see weekly content from me. So, with that being said, Kingdom Hearts came out in 2002, that was the first one, and the second one came out in 2005, and they were amazingly beautiful games for their time. You know, I mean, you look at Kingdom Hearts, the cutscenes in that game, you're like, beautiful, from start to finish. The uh, gameplay in that game was phenomenal, and what was cool about Kingdom Hearts is that, is that as a kid, as a kid, as most kids do, you love Disney movies, right? And then you get into your games and everything else that you love. But Disney is one of the big things that I watched in the 90s. You had you had the Pixar movies, you had this. Now, Kingdom Hearts didn't really have a lot of Pixar in it, but it had Disney, it had um, it had Little Hercules, Little Mermaid, The Lion King, The Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Tarzan, Mulan, and so on and so forth in the games. And it was really awesome to see them. Then you had some other little side characters you saw in there. But as also, as I grew older and, and came as a kid and all that, sorry if my stuff's a little bit random and all over the place and trying to get my thoughts together as I do this, you know, because I got little bullet points here. But other than that, yeah. So, I love Kingdom Hearts of uh, Disney movies. Well, then, I got into PlayStation 1 and then into PlayStation 2. My brother got into PlayStation 1 and then the Xbox and even a little bit of PlayStation at the same time. And I'd always seen him play these Kingdom Hearts, these uh, Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, and I loved it. But then to see some of the characters from that, a handful of those characters put it in there. You get some Disney characters thrown in there into a game together. And then you have some of the uh, gameplay of what you see in Final Fantasy. The big massive story, all these elements to a game, you know customizing your character and the whole nine yards. It was really, really awesome. And in the very room that I do my recordings right now, you can't see it because I got the green screen enabled, but in this very room, I had an entertainment center sitting right over in that room. My bed was on this side of the room. I sat in the floor with a big old school TV and played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 right here Beating both of those games. I remember what, I remember opening up this game and you're getting into the first part of the game and you're like right there and you see like the thing, like the little glass thing, the little glass thing with like all of the Disney princesses on there and you're like figuring out, hey, do you want to go for the sword, sword for strength? Do you want to go to the, 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 the wand for magic or do you want to go to the shield for shield? You know, whatever you want to have, have your big, big, bigger power be at the beginning, you know, and how, how you progress through the game. And it was just really, really cool. And then you have, like, the, like, the, like the bad guys. And it's just like, this game, I just dived in this game. And I this is the, I know for a fact that, to me, this is the first game that I ever beat 100% myself. And then this was the thing, one of the second games I beat by myself. Even though it came out years later, I mean, played these games. At the same time, I was playing some Need for Speed stuff, Fex, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Dexter. I was having a good time. You know, but this game right here was so phenomenal to me. I mean, I mean I'm going to show you this. Look at that. This is my original case that I played, got in 2002. Yeah, they, 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 now, they, you know that right there's a little worn because I used to open it up all the time. But look at that. You don't have stuff like this. You know, there's my disc and all that. And it was cool to see, hey, I'm a character named Soro, and, and you got your buddy Rico, and you're going after the girl Cairo, and Rico's getting, getting took by the darkness. And then you got Goofy and Donald helping you out, being your sidekicks. And then you figure out they're, they're on the look for their, for their master. For their buddy, their best friend, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, because 
Daisy and Minnie want want them to go find find them, you know. And then you have the bad guys with Ursula and Matt and uh, Jafar and all of them, man. It was just in Hades and all that. It was just so phenomenal. And then you jump into this game. This game just just takes all this this game. What this game did, this game right here, number two, took it all and turned it up from 10 to 11 to 12 to 13. And it was just phenomenal. You know, and it's just like, I, I can't say enough about these games. I'm not the best, best person to describe these games, ins and outs, because these two, I played this one multiple times, this one multiple times, and beat them both. And I loved it through and through, you know. But then when it came after that, and it, and it came to handhelds, or it came to remakes of it, I never got a chance to play it. But if there's any way possible somebody could tell me, if there's a on my computer, computer, I could play the remakes, cool, great, grand. But I am definitely on the look for a PS2, or if I can find a working condition, this is, only, this is only the way I do it, if I can find a working condition, PS3, original PS3, the 60, 40 or 60 gig, I think, one it is, where it's able to play... PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, not not the older PS3, but the original PS3. If anybody out there could tell me how to find it, cool, great, grand, because I would love to play these games again and set it up and do streams, because if I did streams of these games, they wouldn't be beat every other stream in there. You'd see me tear up. You'd see me, see me ramble. You'd see me talk about this game like never before, and I haven't played these games in years, but these games are near and dear to my heart. Heart through and through. Hell, I open this one up and then bam. And this one just expanded on the story because a lot of what you found out in this game, the second one was like the things like the uh, what Mickey was doing and the, like the Heartless and all that. You, you get you get expanded on those in like the mobile games and stuff like that and Birth by Sleep, Chain of Memories, the, you know all this stuff and it's just phenomenal. I love it. Disney, Square Enix together that was magic made in heaven i wish they would do more games or do more of this you know no but the possibility the thing that they, they keep saying that kingdom hearts 3 is coming to xbox one means that i will be able to play kingdom hearts 3 when it releases when it releases i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna download it to my xbox and i'm gonna get it i'm gonna buy it on disc actually but, but i'm gonna download it to my xbox and i'm gonna play that game until i beat it for you all because Kingdom Hearts is my favorite game of all time. Time. Whew, I just ran out of breath right there. Let me take a little drink right here, people. But yes, if you want to know more about my love for Kingdom Hearts, hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, on Facebook or Twitter. The yeah, Chris Levi 13. That's where I can get to you the fastest. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm Chris Levi 13, and I'll see you all later. Stay awesome. Oh, real quick, another cool thing about Kingdom Hearts is that, is, that, is that not just the Disney people you meet, not just the Final Fantasy people you meet, but when you get in those, like, uh, those little gummy ships, when you go travel from world to world before you can do the fast travel, man, that is cool. I actually went, spent time and customized my ship. And then when you get to get the different uh, Keyblades, because I'm going to get me a replica Keyblade one day, but when you get the different Keyblades, like the one that, 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 that's just for the... Um, for... Uh, Hollow Sebastian, the one that's for Nightmare, Night, Nightmare Before Christmas, Tarzan. We all get these different keyblades. It's really, really cool. And at the same time, when you get these different keyblades for the worlds that you go to, you also char character kind of dawns. It's like when you go to Lion King, you turn into a lion. When you go to Night Before Christmas, you kind of get like a pumpkin in your head and all that stuff, and it, and it adapts. It's not just you looking the same way. It's your character adapting to what Disney World you jump into. And that's really, really phenomenal. Just had that added in there. Anyway, see you all later. Stay awesome!